measurement of impulse voltage by using electrostatic voltmeter measurement of impulse voltage by using electrostatic voltmeter this is one of the uh, important concept to measure high voltages okay i think you already studied in uh, measurement uh, measurement of uh, ac and dc by using electrostatic voltmeter in the first unit uh, so three measuring instruments now moving iron pmmc and electrostatic voltmeter in high voltage engineering point of view also so by using electrostatic voltmeter we have to measure very high impulse voltages ac impulse voltage voltages it's clear so only some uh, uh, difference is only uh, there is a scale and a, okay so pointer only difference here uh, pointer is different okay compared to basic meter uh, measuring instrument compared to measuring instrument and uh, your electrostatic voltmeter high voltage engineer okay so these are the different types of uh, uh, objectives we have to concentrate today principle of operation of electrostatic voltmeter first one principle of operation of electrostatic voltmeter second uh, constructional details and uh, circuit operation It's clear. That's the advantages and limitations of electrostatic voltmeter. It's clear. So the, all of you draw this diagram. Everyone, all of you draw this diagram. I will give you sufficient time to write. So you know, well, electrostatic voltmeter. Uh, there are two different types of electrostatic voltmeters observed in the measurement instrument. Uh, attraction type uh, repulsion type moving to iron type also okay moving iron same as moving iron here yeah, electrostatic voltmeter in this electrostatic voltmeter so uh, this is the high voltage terminal okay so high voltage transmission line this is the high voltage terminal is connected to one side of the equipment okay this total equipment one side Uh, one high voltage terminal is connected here, and the next terminal, ground. Okay, another terminal is ground, and here, M is called moving plate. This M is called moving plate. Ah, uh, here, and this is called uh, guarding plates. These are the two guarding plates. Actually, these are in a circular manner, but uh, so for uh, for understanding one point of view, so they are visible like this. To understand the diagram, uh, this will be visible in a straight line manner. Okay, this circle is enclosed. The moving plate is enclosed by guarding plate. Okay, it is a circle manner. Okay, in middle of this is a mobile one. Okay, and here this is a fixed plate. F is called a fixed plate. A fixed plate is nothing but uh, once, uh, uh, for example, if you want to measure some voltage. Okay, we have to fix at particular place. So, by fixing the particular place, then we have to measure the high voltages. Okay, under measuring condition, under measurement start condition, so we don't uh, move uh, this plate. We don't have to move. So this uh, this is a fixed, and we can't move uh, this plate. Once measuring start, okay, after starting the measurement. Uh, so we don't move this uh, plate uh, it is placed at particular pla uh, distance only that's why it is called fixed plate the fixed plate is not moving uh, from here to here to here to not moving like that. it is moving but uh, uh, before starting the measurement we have to fix some place before starting measurement we have to fix it at uh, one place here or here here according to the our requirement uh, we have to fix it one place after starting measurement uh, we have to fix it Okay, we have to fix it in one particular place. That's why it is called fixed plate, and H is called guard rings. These are all guard rings. Here, these are all guard rings. It's clear. So number of guard rings are placed so like this. So why means the guard rings uh, by providing these guard rings, we have to uh, distribute the electric field uniform. It's clear. Uniform electric field distribution purpose. So we have to use uh, guardings. 
So in between moving plate and the fixer plate, so to maintain uniform electric field, the guardings are used. It's clear. The guardings. Here, these uh, guardings, and here this side also guardings. In between these two guardings, okay, two sides guardings. Uh, this moving plate is moving downward direction, upward direction. Okay, based on voltage. Okay, downward direction and upward direction based on attraction. Fixed plate and moving plate based on attraction between these two. Okay, so this moving plate is moving a downward direction and upward direction. And uh, base called balance. It's clear. Base called balance. Balance. So uh, this is called balance. Uh, by using this balance, uh, so when it is moving like this manner, okay, the balance is used to balance this uh, moving plate. I mean, uh, it's uh, uh, it is used to uh, this color. So it is used to uh, damp out the oscillations. Okay. Because of attraction between these two, there is an oscillation in between these two, fixed plate and moving plate. Because of attraction and repulsion between these two, uh, there is a oscillation uh, in between these two. So that can be avoided by using balance. Okay. Uh, this, uh, the balancing is placed on one side and a uh, moving plate is placed on one side. Okay. So then next uh, D is called dome. This is called dome. So by using this dome, uh, we have to protect the system from external uh, magnetic field, stray magnetic fielders. Okay. Stray magnetic fields are can be overcome. I mean, uh, the effect of the stray magnetic field can be uh, reducing by using dome. External stray magnetic fields are reduced by using this dome. It is enclosed with the dome. Okay. Because of this moving plate is moving in uh, between these two. So compulsory, there is will be external effect. Uh, so to avoid that external stray magnetic fields. Okay. So to avoid the external stray magnetic fields, this is, this is enclosed in dome. Okay. And then the C is called capacitance divider. Okay, these are these are the different number of types of capacitors are connected in series. And uh, when it is uh, moving upward direction and uh, downward direction before starting the measurement, okay. So by the, by using the capacitance dividers, uh, we have to change the range of the instrument. It's clear. The range of the instrument can be changed by uh, changing the positions of the fixed plate. By changing the positions of the fixed plate, uh, we have to change the uh, range of the instrument. It's clear. The range of the instrument can be changed by using uh, capacitance divider and a fixed plate. Okay, again, I'm telling us so by changing the uh, fix uh, before starting the experiment, by changing the positions of the fixed plate, we have to measure the high voltages, high impulse voltages. Okay, once the experiment is started, uh, this fixed plate is uh, fixed in some plate. Somewhere here, other here, otherwise here, here. According to our requirement, this fixed plate is moving upward direction and downward direction. It's clear. So based on uh, if it is moving upward direction, this measurement, uh, range of the measurement is changing. Okay. The range of the measurement is changing. If you are down, if you are, uh, the fixed plate is moving downwards direction, uh, the capacitance dividers are, the more number of capacitance uh, dividers are included into the experiment. That's why range of the equipment is increasing. If you are moving the upward direction, only this much of okay capacitors are used. That's why the range of the equipment is decreasing. Okay, understood. And next, uh, so here same experiment, some small little bit concept about uh, this uh, high voltage electrostatic voltmeter. High input impedance. This is a I input impedance because of uh, why because it's a moving plate and a fixed plate there is a lot of gas space in between these two okay it's open circuit now moving plate and fixed plate okay the gap is more that's why high input impedance okay and a small capacitance uh, in the range of 5 to 50 picofarads and high uh, resistance is greater than 10 to the power of 
13 ohms okay so this is the range of the instrument high input impedance instrument this is high input impedance instrument and uh, capacitance maybe 5 to 50 picofarads and uh, resistance okay uh, is greater than 10 to the power of 13 ohms it's offer the resistance uh, this range okay and the frequency maximum 1 megahertz is limited to up to maximum 1 megahertz okay okay depends on resonance of the electrical and uh, resonance of mechanical systems mechanical systems is a moving system no? okay is a moving system electrical system and it is a moving uh, equipment because of this uh, frequency is limited to uh, maximum 1 megahertz only okay and accuracy for ac voltage less than or equal to plus or minus 0 0.25 percent okay accuracy ac voltage is as less than or equal to plus or minus 0 0.25 for a dc accuracy less than or equal to plus or minus 0 0.1 percent okay so very very less and working stress or range air normally 5 kilo volts per centimeter working stress or working range of the instrument normally 5 kilo volts per centimeter with pressurized gas at 15 atm okay and it can be uh, 100 kilo volts per centimeter okay this is some simple concept about electro starting voltmeter construction is clear operating principle of electro starting voltmeter so in electro static voltmeter so in measuring equipment measuring measurement point of view in basic measurement point of view basic meter instead of using scale i mean uh, instead of using lighting source uh, they are using a scale uh, scale type of measuring system you are using in measurement but here so different one light source light deflection based on a light uh, so we have to measure the uh, I will do this based on the light def, uh, reflection on the mirror when light is falling on the mirror it is reflected onto the scale okay based on attraction and uh, repulsion of this uh, moving plate this uh, light uh, reflected onto the scale is diff okay it's changing I voltage terminal is connected to the fixer plate one side of the fixer plate this color high, high tension line because of this uh, High voltages. Moving plate experience electrostatic force M. Moving plate, this is called moving plate. No? This is called moving plate experience electrostatic force. So, like this. Okay. Once uh, applying the high voltages to the fixed plate, so what happens? There is an attraction between, uh, between these two plates. Moving plate experience electrostatic force okay so because of that uh, uh, because of attraction because of attraction so what happened this uh, moving plate is moving closer to the because of attraction moving plus closer to the fixed plate because of repulsion the moving plate moved uh, away from the fixed plate like this man there are two types of uh, forces are there attraction and repulsion okay first we are applying first we have to apply high voltages and then uh, electrostatic uh, ex force experience by the fixed moving plate and because of that because of the movement of the so this fixed plate the uh, one mirror is one mirror this is one mirror is placed on a moving plate okay because of the deflection of the uh, this moving plate positions are based on attraction based on high voltages this force is changing if high voltage uh, applied so the for the force on this moving plate is very high if it is low voltage the force on the moving plate is less based on high voltages the moving plate is moving uh, closer to the fixed plate and uh, moving away from the fixed plate understood and uh, when it is moving so like this manner so what happened a beam of a beam from light source will be fall on the mirror okay a beam from light source will fall on mirror because of that 
it shows the reading okay its scale is calibrated according to the uh, light source beam a beam from light source will fall on mirror okay uh, then so once this light source is fall on mirror then uh, initially uh, scale shows like this a light beam reflects on the onto the scale light beam deflects onto the scale like this you know well uh, there are different types of torques uh, deflecting torque controlling torque okay damping torque am i right deflecting torque controlling torque damping torque based on the these three torques only the your instrument is working first uh, deflecting torque coming to the picture am i right or not once it is connected to the high voltage terminal deflecting torque coming to the picture because of that deflecting torque this pointer is trying to move okay according to the supply voltage okay once it is moving means it is not stopped at a final steady state value because of inertia of the pointer because of inertia of the pointer the pointer is not stopped at a particular place because of inertia so that's why it's moving away from the actual value so at that condition so controlling torque coming to picture am i right or not when deflecting torque and controlling torque torques are equal each other and then then pointer will stop okay so how to control the uh, this oscillations because of deflecting torque this pointer move away from the actual position because of controlling torque the pointer again is not stopped at a actual position is moving backward if td is greater than tc that is a deflecting torque is greater than controlling torque the pointer moving away from the actual position if it is a controlling torque is more than deflecting torque and pointer moving backward uh, away from the actual position because of the oscillations okay the pointer is not stopped at one particular position so to avoid the oscillations what we have to do so we are using one damping method damping by using damping so we have to uh, reduce the oscillations of the meter the pointer oscillations can be reduced by using damping so in this experiment uh, this is called damping so okay, air friction damping so this is called damping here also damping the dampings are used to avoid the oscillations of the the moving plate understood because of inertia because of inertia the moving plate is not fixed at a particular location okay it is not fixed at a particular place to this means uh, if it is deflecting torque and is equal to the control torque then to uh, at steady state at its equilibrium position the pointer the move fixed one moving one is fixed at particular position okay but because of inertia of the uh, moving plate uh, this pointer is um, moving plate is oscillating to uh, reduce the that type of oscillations what we have to do we have to use one uh, damping method okay we have to use one damping method that is called air friction damping so this air friction damping is reduce the oscillations of the moving plate okay we, that's why so we can measure uh, the measurement without any error okay any the you know well the different type of errors grass error okay observational errors that is called grass errors is nothing but observational errors errors can be avoided if the moving plate is fixed at a particular location understood it's clear and next uh, if the the mirror is uh, if the uh, if the high voltage is up here means uh, the moving plate moving from here to here at that condition so what happen the angle of deflection varies according to the applied voltage am i right or not the angle of deflection varies according to the applied voltage if applied voltage is uh, increased or decreased based on that uh, the mirror is moving uh, like this manner and uh, like this manner okay mirror is moving like this according to that uh, the deflection of light uh, and beam of light uh, is changing the positions of the a uh, light uh, reflected light on scale is changing am i right or not the angle of uh, deflection varies according to the applied voltage if uh, applied voltage is less then moving plate uh, is coming to the zero position that means it uh, shows the zero reading 
when it is uh, coming like this manner when we are based on high voltages when uh, based on high voltages okay the moving plate moving like this uh, so based on that uh, the deflection on the scale is changing okay the scale reading where light beam strikes gives a value of voltage okay so based on a light beam deflection method we have to measure the very high impulse voltages by using electrostatic voltmeter but in basic meter by using a scale by using scale so we have to use measurement of high voltages in measurement measurement and instrumentation that is a, a measurement point of view so but high voltage measurement point of view so we have to use a, a one deflection light beam deflection is clear so try to constate here so during starting condition at the starting that means before applied voltage before applying to the voltage into the system uh, this is the actual uh, at zero position uh, zero deflection zero deflection of the mirror uh, the light beam okay during starting condition after uh, applying the voltage what happen the moving plate is moving so one location to another location the moving plate is moving uh, forward direction and downward direction based on uh, attraction and repulsion so at that condition what will happen there may be a positions of the mirror is changing okay if it is moving like this uh, downward direction okay if it is moving downward direction this is called mobile man, na? moving plate na? this is called moving plate this is called balance sir. okay this is called damping control the damping oscillations is it to uh, uh, avoid the oscillations this is damping sir. when uh, vibrations on a moving plate can be controlled by using this damping and this is called balancing weight okay and this is called moving plate Base, if it is high voltage applied here so what happened this is a moving downward direction okay moving downward direction so based on that uh, the light is falling on moving plate and reflected back to the scale like this then it's a theta and a two theta so so like this uh, the angle of deflection is changing is clear rotating mirror is clear i think and then principle of operation of electrostatic voltmeter okay principle of operation of electrostatic voltmeter so right uh, all of you first one under the influence of electrostatic field the attractive force on parallel plates of condenser is f is equal to f is equal to so this 1 by 2 into epsilon naught into a into v by s whole scale is clear the at force is attractive force on parallel plate more so like this f is equal to 1 by 2 into epsilon naught into a into v by s whole scale is clear here v is called applied voltages so here v is called applied voltages and a is called area of the plates a is called area of the plates and s is called separation between the plates separation between the plates and epsilon is called permittivity of free space or air permittivity of free space or air epsilon naught is clear you know you, you know already uh, from basic uh, measurement of electrostatic voltmeter in uh, moving air pmmc i mean uh, esv under measurement the force is uh, proportional to the v square am i right or not moving air and force is that is called torque is proportional to i square am i right or not but in a uh, uh, pmmc the torque is proportional to i linear okay in uh, pmmc torque is uh, torque is proportional to b i n a na? that is torque is proportional to i am i right or not in pmmc in moving iron the force or torque is proportional to i square same similar way here also the electrostatic voltmeter this torque or force is proportional to the v square this is uh, electrostatic voltmeter is a voltage sensitive instrument voltage sensitive it's so not a current sensitive moving iron instrument and uh, uh, pmmc current sensitive instrument that is force is depending on current f is proportional to i torque is proportional to i in uh, pmmc and uh, moving iron 
force is proportional to the i square and torque is proportional to i square in moving it but in electrostatic voltmeter is v square that's why this voltage is sensitive instrument okay when one of the plate is free to move the force on the plate can be measured by balancing it with a counterweight understood when one of the plate is free to move the force on the plate can be measured by balancing it with counterweight so like this this is the balancing weight according to that the moving plate is moving okay a small displacement of ele uh, electrodes by few millimeters is sufficient for measurement of i voltages okay a small displacement of electrodes by few millimeters is sufficient for measurement of i voltages as force is proportional to square of voltages so you know well force is proportional to the square of voltages f is proportional to the v square this method can be used for measuring ac as well as dc voltages so this is the advantage of uh, electrostatic voltmeter this instrument is used for measurement of ac as well as dc okay construction and working of electrostatic voltmeter construction and working of electrostatic voltmeter first one electrostatic voltmeter consists of parallel plate disc electrodes are separated by small distance okay all of you write fast electrostatic voltmeter consists of parallel plate disc electrodes separated by a small distance second one a fixed guard ring surrounds the moving plate moving electrode in order to ensure uniform electric field in the center so this all concept i was explain okay earlier at the time of starting or at the okay by showing the diagram i was explained this concept a fixed guard ring surrounds the moving electrode in order to ensure uniform electric field in the center so this is a fixed guard ring so this is guard ring surrounded by the moving plate so moving plate place in the middle and a guard ring is placed around the like this okay a fixed guard ring is surrounded by the moving plate and in order to ensure uniform electric field in the center okay that means stray external stray magnetic field can be avoided by using a fixed guard ring the unknown voltage can be measured accurately if the diameter of the disc is larger okay the unknown voltage can be measured accurately if the diameter of the disc is larger but gap spacing between the electrode is smaller try to consider this is also one of the important one unknown voltage can be measured accurately with the diameter of the disc is larger but gap spacing between the electrode is smaller it's clear so next fourth one the safe working electric test while minimizing the gap spacing is 5 kV per cm or less in air this is also one of the important concept safe working okay safe working electric test is 5 kV per cm while minimizing the gap spacing so it must be 5 kV per cm or less in air and next fifth one in the conventional electrostatic voltmeter a spring actuated pointer arrangement is used for deflection you know well according to the uh, measurement and instrumentation uh, by using spring control so we have to measure the uh, voltages okay by using spring control mechanism by using spring uh, control mechanism we have to measure the high voltages the spring uh, used to control the controlling dark is to provide the controlling dark okay uh, for more versatile meters moment of electrode is amplified using lamp and scale based optical arrangement okay so this is the fifth one. next the sixth a suitable air vane damping is used to minimize vibrations in the moving system a suitable air vane damping okay this is called air air vane damping suitable uh, air friction damping is used to avoid the oscillations of the pointer okay suitable vane damping is used to minimize the vibrations on the moving system okay if the moving system is oscillating means uh, that position uh, uh, result will be also oscillating am i right so 
it is there is a confusion it is a, uh, for example it's a 2 2 volts are 2.5 volts are 1.9 volts are there is a confusion between uh, the uh, measurement no? if it is vibrating okay that can be minimized by using tap the gap separation can be adjusted to change the instrument range as electricity is same for maximum value in any range okay as in then eighth one the moving disc m forms the central core of guard ring g the diameter of the guard ring g is same as fixed plate electrode okay you can easily understand by reading this so the cap d encloses the sensitive sensitive balance b okay the cap d encloses the sensitive balance b one arm of uh, which carries suspension of moving disc and then tend to one the mirror that reflects the beam of light is fixed to the balance beam the mirror that reflects the beam of light is fixed to the balance beam okay the moment of the disc is optically magnified using light beam reflection onto the calibrated scale okay so this is the tenth one advantages advantages very small amount of source loading very small amount of source loading it use uh, this is the one of the advantages source loading is uh, very small okay as measurement of ac as well as dc voltage can be done you know well okay measurement of ac as well as dc voltages can be done by using electrostatic voltmeter this is one of the important uh, concept highest frequency of voltage up to several megahertz can be measured highest frequency of voltage up to several megahertz can be measured but to do to some templates it will be limited to up to maximum 1 megahertz okay at the time of starting i have explained the voltage range can be adjusted without losing sensitivity sensitivity voltage range can be adjusted without losing sensitivity this is the advantage okay and then limitations circuit calibration is sensitive to mounting and vibrations circuit calibration is sensitive to mounting and vibrations limitations so first limit second one higher frequency measurements need check on resonance between load inductance and meter capacitance this is one of the limitations so we have to check the resonance condition okay load inductance and meter capacitance it is under resonance or not we have to check each and every time that is the some limitations for high frequency measurement need to check on resonance between the load inductance and the meter capacitance next third one voltage below 50 volts cannot be detected due to very low field strength okay voltage below 50 volts cannot be detected due to very low field strength and then finally summary try to constate here all of you i think all of you completed and then try to constate electrostatic force on parallel plate capacitor used to measure the unknown voltage with the help of one moving plate we already uh, considered on this the attractive force on moving plate is used to deflect a light beam over to the calibrated scale to move to measure the voltages okay and then electrostatic voltmeter offers several advantages like wide range of voltage measurement wide frequency range and minimum source loading and next uh, ac voltage range it is up to uh, 1000 kV can be measured with accuracy of plus or minus 0.25% this is about electrostatic voltmeter